What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of FX new series, Why the Last Man. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to FX for granting me the screeners to this new show. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Let me preface this by saying that I've never read the comic books or the graphic novels, so I can't make any comparisons here. I don't know how similar or different this adaptation is or whether or not it's faithful to the original material. That said, while there are many elements about this show that are admirable, including its effort in examining the fluidity of genders in a cutthroat survival society, the narratives on these episodes can be a bit too stretched out and sluggish. I mean, the mission is clear, we understand why the journey needs to happen, and that everybody's not necessarily on the same page, but the story often gets lost in bloated mind-numbing formula that drags its feet and makes us feel half-heartedly about wanting to follow it. Based on Brian K. Vaughn and Pia Guerra's graphic novels, executive produced and show run by Eliza Clark, Why the Last Man is a drama series that traverses a post-apocalyptic world in which a cataclysmic event decimates every mammal with a Y chromosome but for one cisgender and his pet monkey. The series follows the survivors in this new world as they struggle with their efforts to restore what was lost and the opportunity to build something better. Starring Ben Schnetzer, Olivia Thurlby, Ashley Romans, Amber Tamblin, and Diane Lane. As you all know, this adaptation had a long road to finally getting to this point. Why the Last Man was initially meant for the big screen, but creative differences kinda ruined it, and one by one, any director or any star attached to it ultimately fell by the wayside, and so here we are. Hey, perhaps you'll come out watching these episodes concluding that Why the Last Man should have been a movie instead of a TV show. The only thing that makes Yorick valuable is this secret that he's the only male who didn't die. So the women he encounters along the way, whether they be good or bad, only see him either as an opportunity or a threat. And that's all the continuous cycle that they have going for them. Obviously, there are no zombies, there are no vampires, there are no robot uprising. So it's a human versus human psychological drama that lacks consistent suspense. And the few suspense that it does have lacks teeth. Thus, it keeps resorting to what I implied earlier, introspective moments that slow the story down. Some audiences might care for it, but I for one find it difficult to hold on to. The writers do throw in some power struggle drama nearing the fifth or sixth episode, but the whole thing is so contrived and not sufficient enough to excite me. I have no complaints about the cast, however. I think they're perfectly well suited. I mean, Diane definitely brings gravitas to the table as a congresswoman turned acting president. Ashley Romans is tough and fierce as the agent with the hidden agenda. Olivia Thurby is committed at playing her shifty character who's scared to death of people figuring out her crime. And even though Ben Schnetzer may not have been the production's first choice for the lead role, but Ben steps up to the plate as Yorick who has a tunnel vision goal, which is to track down his lost girlfriend. He might view himself as an idealist, but there's a sense of entitlement about Yorick who refuses to see the bigger picture. Why the Last Man is actually handled by majority women. From the DP, to the production designer, to the showrunner, to the editors, to the stunt coordinator, to the score composer. So while I'm still waiting for the story to pick up its pace and gain some momentum, my hat's off 
to the diversity happening behind and in front of the cameras. In conclusion, why the last man is not I am legend. So do not let your expectations rise to that level. By all accounts, why the last man is pretty well crafted. It's just that the scripts need to provide more oomph if they wish to retain my interest. Because right now, wanting to like this show is a struggle.